Hi, I'm George Clooney. All right, don't blame me for lying. I'm a product of my environment. These days, lying is all the rage. Everyone's doing it. Of course, lying is nothing new. We've been doing it since the beginning of time. Remember this oldie but goodie? Go ahead, eat the fruit, it's good for you. What could go wrong? But these days, it's not the frequency of the lies, but the quality of the lies that's alarming. In my day, when you lied, it was a good, solid American lie that stood up to intense scrutiny. But today's lies are flimsy, as if made in a third world country. You took our money, you took my wallet. Yep, this past week, U.S. Olympic swimmer Ryan Lochte took the gold, silver, and bronze for the dumbest lie in the history of mankind. On an international stage, nonetheless. And for what? To cover up breaking a bathroom door. <laughs> Ryan, what are you, six? It's like you weren't even trying to lie. You call yourself an American. In this country, we just don't make lies like we used to. Leaving Saddam Hussein in possession of weapons of mass destruction. Remember how Colin told us there were weapons of mass destruction in Iraq? George ordered us to read his lips. No new taxes. Pete swore he never gambled. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did and not. And Bill did not have, have sexual, sexual relations with that woman. I had no knowledge whatever of the Watergate break-in before it occurred. And who could forget the mother of all lies? Watergate. It took two years and millions of dollars to figure out this used car salesman was lying. Nowadays, it took less time to figure out Lockheed was lying than it took him to swim the 200 backstroke. And this is the real concern. There's such a complete lack of respect for the truth and others, along with a belief that even if you get caught, there are no meaningful ramifications, that people are literally lying to our faces. I did not email any um, classified material to anyone on my email. ISIS is honoring President Obama. He is the founder of ISIS. Look, I don't condone lying, but if you're going to do it, for God's sake, put in the effort. It's the only way we can make America great again. Now, if you excuse me, my wife, Mrs. Clooney, is waiting for me on our yacht in the south of France. What? She is. Of course, that depends on what your definition of is is.